Hello and welcome to Breaking Android, breaking apart Android news into easy, digestible bits. For BreakingModern.com, I'm Matt Lee. First up, some Android 5.01 issues surfacing. Those of you on the Lollipop update on Nexus devices might be experiencing anything from screen rotation glitches to corporate email not working, Wi-Fi problems, Bluetooth problems, battery problems, the usual kind of things that plague uh, new updates on Android devices. Uh, it's odd that it's only hitting Nexus users, but it could be that only Nexus users have Lollipop. Personally, I haven't gotten it on anything non-Nexus here, so uh, what can you do? Really not much, but wait for 5.02 to come out. Uh, if you have the 2012 Nexus 7, you should be getting that update here shortly. Other than that, if you're really worried about it, you can roll back to 5.0 or just try and completely factory reset the device. Sometimes that fixes it, but uh, Google is rolling out an update, so that may not fix it. Uh, yeah. Android Authority reporting Google, and this happened back in September, they've removed the main Amazon app from the Play Store. This is kind of interesting. Uh, what happened is Amazon exploited a loophole in Google's Play Store policy that basically said you cannot have an app in the App Store, in the Google Play, whose main primary purpose is to sell other apps. So Amazon, they're like, you know, this isn't our primary business. It's just a little side thing. It's just a little side business we got going on. No need to worry about it. It's fine. We're actually selling toilet paper and stuff like that. So don't worry about it. Uh, of course, Google, they didn't like that much. And probably like a couple weeks after that, they went and through the privacy policy, removed the part that said primary, and basically made it say that any app that has any selling of any other ads, like you can't have any of it. So uh, Amazon, they, they pulled the app. Amazon replaced it with a shopping app minus the app other app functionality. Uh, it's very confusing. It's apps selling apps inside of apps and apps. It's it's all uh, very recursive. So, uh, is this anti-competitive? Uh, some say yes. Uh, some say that it's Google's platform. They can really do whatever they want with it. So, no, I'm not a lawyer. I don't really want to decide. For me personally, between Google Play and Netflix, that's like 80% of my media consumption. Uh, of course, the other 20% is podcasts and, and torrents. But, you know, we do what we do got to watch shows we want to watch when we want to watch them, right? HBO, they're learning. Uh, last up, Brian Irving, Global Director of Marketing for Google Play, published a cool little infographic on the official Android blog. Uh, this is definitely showing that Play Store has come a long way since back in the day of fart apps and the Android marketplace. If you were an OG Droid user back using Android back then, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, they have everything from apps, games, movies, music, news, and books now, of course. Uh, yeah, check it out. The infographic, we'll kind of go through it a little bit here and show you. Uh, most downloaded apps by category. Uh, social, of course, is Facebook, Entertainment, Netflix. Uh, sports, you have the NFL mobile app, which if you're on Verizon, you'll notice that comes with your device. Thank you. Uh, travel, TripAdvisor, photography, something called Flipagram. Never heard of that. Uh, music is Pandora, Health and Fitness, My Fitness Pal, and Education Duolingo. Uh, we'll talk about a couple games here. The most downloaded title of 2014, you guessed it, Candy Crush. Uh, after that, Don't Tap the White Tile. I have an app review on that over on BreakingModern.com. Uh, Farm Hero Saga, Subway Surfers, and number five, Clash of Titans. So uh, they go through top movies, TV, books, newsstand articles, what was the most read article. Uh, of course, it has to do with teen heartthrobs. Go figure. Uh, it's what the people want, right? So, yeah, check it out. It's over on the uh, official Android blog over on Blogspot. We'll have links to that and everything else we talked about in the show notes and in the description for this video. 